What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Acolyte and some weird news, but before we do get into that, remember hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know, and don't forget I have a membership program and a merch store, and as always, once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one, give that one a thumbs up, and smash the like button as you're watching this video so we get it trending. Let's start the show. Well, some news came out yesterday. I know a couple people who have put it out and have been talking about it, about the Acolyte that the new Star Wars series is canceled and the creators from the show are or have been apparently fired. Let's get into it. So rumors are flying that the Star Wars The Acolyte has been canceled at Disney following the firing of the showrunner Leslie Headland. Now, let me talk about this. She has been at the forefront in talking and controversial stuff when it comes to talking about George Lucas and overall the franchise. So I definitely could see why they have let her go. But to say that the show has been canceled, um, to my understanding, the show had kind of wrapped up filming and everything, and they were ready to release it uh, sometime next year as it was slated. But it appears that this YouTuber, uh, Doomcock, um, and with producer uh, Cameron Pasha cited as the source that the YouTuber explained that Pasha found out from a source at Lucasfilm only referred to as Sparrow that made a claim about Helen's firing and as a result the upcoming series was given a soft cancellation. So, I mean, I hear about this again. I know this this uh, YouTuber, Doomcock, has been on the record of saying stuff before. But let me talk to you about the Acolyte a little bit. It was something that was really exciting, or I was really excited for. I think a lot of people were, because it was a show that was going to go into the dark times. You know, the dark, I guess you could say, it was going to go into more of a Sith-based show, where it wasn't really going to focus on the height of the you know, the High Republic, this was the ending of the High Republic, where this was going to be, you know, a century before the prequel trilogy, which is something that had never been explored before in Star Wars, at least in live action, or even animation, we haven't gotten anything. So this was going to be something that, you know, I think a lot of people were excited for, because this is like, the you know, we're seeing it from the Sith point of view, or just a dark side point of view overall. Now, why they would fire, you know, the creator, Leslie Headland? That is an interesting one. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, you know, she's been going through some controversial stuff where she's talked about George Lucas and the prequel trilogy and, you know, the the, the process of hiring people and how it would have to go through George Lucas. I mean, just a whole bunch of stuff that just to me is a bunch of nonsense and just doesn't even make logical sense because again you're hired by lucasfilm you put out a show you're at the forefront of it you're you know you're making it in your image so i don't understand why and george lucas has nothing to do with anything that is going on right now it's disney owned so i think if there's anybody you should be upset at is the way disney has handled star wars or lucasfilm overall they have not lived up to their expectations at all i mean come on they dubbed george lucas of his own sequel trilogy by saying yeah we'll take it we'll use it and then went and did their own thing and we know the rest is history now again i'm not knocking the sequel trilogy but again you know uh, society and overall the numbers speak for themselves but overall you know i will say this i don't know if there really is truth behind this i don't know this youtuber i don't knock him again I, I you know anything that anybody does i respect the work because again being a content creator is not easy but i will say the fact that you know they're gonna cancel the show after they have you know filmed it already from my understanding is a little kind of dramatic but again i will tell you this I'm not going to listen to anybody until I see and hear from it from Lucasfilm or Disney themselves. Let them put out the news. Again, you know, we all have our sources. Again, you know, it's it's totally fine to have that. I think that, you know, especially if they're reliable people, that's totally fine. But I think when it's something this drastic that they're canceling a show, I think this is one that we all should kind of wait for. And just wait to see what Disney comes out with in the next couple of days or weeks when it comes to the show overall. But, you know, there's been an MO with Disney, you know, and Lucasfilm and Star Wars overall. A lot of things have gotten canceled, have been put to the back, or you could call it like a soft cancellation. I mean, look what happened with, you know, Rogue Squadron, Patty Jenkins movie. That ended up getting pushed to the shelf and then canceled. So I could definitely see something like this happening, but the fact that they were in production 
that's what even amuses me more. But I guess we'll see what happens um, when it comes to this show. But comment down below, guys. Would this be something that you would be very disappointed? Were you excited for this show? Is this something that you do want to see and learn more about? Since this is at the end of the height of the High Republic and 100 years before the prequel trilogy. For more Star Wars content, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget to have a membership program and a merch store. And as always, the Eternal Sith. Then, now, forever. Later, guys.